Three Minute Thesis, Cornell University, 2018. Sabrina Saluki, Vaccines Build Armies. Nobody in this audience today ever needs to worry about what it's like to have polio or smallpox because both of these viruses have been completely eradicated from the US due to the advent of vaccines. In fact, vaccines are considered to be one of the greatest medical achievements of modern civilization. So how do these remarkable vaccines work? Vaccines work by targeting the immune system of the human body. You can think of the immune system as being analogous to an army. Like the army, the immune system functions by combating dangerous foreign microbes from entering our cells and making us sick. When you're vaccinated, it's the immune system or army within us that's activated and soldiers are recruited for duty. If we zoom in, you can see that some of these soldiers are known as T cells. However, for a vaccine to be effective, these T cells need to equip themselves with the proper weapons to engage in combat against these microbes. So as they gather their swords and shields, they transform into elite soldiers known as memory T cells. You can see this memory T cell is engaging in battle against this virus shown in green. But this virus is no match for our memory T cell. And that's for two reasons. First, these elite memory T cell soldiers are some of the strongest immune cells of the human body. They can easily overcome this virus. Second, just as their name implies, memory T cells remember how they attack their enemy and they exist in the human body for many years. So if later in life you're re-exposed to the same green virus, these memory T cells can recognize it and attack it so fast that you don't even feel sick. Now, interestingly, a very few number of memory cells are created when you're vaccinated. But just like in the army, there's strength in numbers. Successful armies are composed of hundreds of thousands of soldiers uniting together to defeat their common enemy. So for my thesis, I've been trying to understand how I can increase the number of memory T cells to build even larger armies so we can reduce the number of vaccines one needs to be protected against some of these deadly microbes. So to do this in the lab, I've been studying a protein found in all T cells known as ITK. And what we discovered is that when you eliminate ITK from these T cells, it results in a significant increase in the number of these elite memory T cells. So for my doctoral thesis, I've been trying to explore why and how eliminating ITK results in this increase in the memory T cell population. And this is really exciting because it means now, if along with a vaccine, we can create a drug that blocks ITK, we can increase the number of memory T cells and build even larger vaccines so we don't have to keep re-administering the same vaccines. Ultimately, rather than going to the doctors to get multiple vaccine shots over time, you'll only need one shot. And after all, nobody likes needles. Thank you.